imam profile na Instagramu i na Facebooku. Mislim, često puta se iznenadim šta sve postoji zapravo. Najviše koristim Instagram. Sigurno, bar jedno 3-4 sata dnevno. Are we aware of what's going on in our brain while we're on social media? Visiting Instagram or Facebook is a daily routine that we almost don't even notice and that doesn't arouse special emotions in us. Direct Media United Solutions conducted a neuro study to see if that was the case. Razvoj tehnologije, pogotovo razvoj neuroscience tehnologije, omogućuje da saznamo o potrošačima i načinu na koji oni konzumiraju određene medije mnogo više nego što su bio slučaj ranije. Naša ideja je bila da kroz ovo istraživanje pokušamo kao profesionalci da o tim mrežama saznamo zaista neke dubinske stvari. Na kraju krajeva šta je to što te društvene mreže čini toliko važnim? Typical ways that in the past we were trying to understand what is happening and get information from our consumer, for our consumer behavior was actually to ask them. But now we have the technology and the methodology, the science, to read what is happening at the moment of the experience. Actually, 95% of all your decisions and behaviors come from the unconscious. Participants were asked to behave as they would otherwise behave when using Facebook and Instagram during the research, while at the same time their brain activity and emotional reaction were recorded. I never thought about what I'm going to do until now, when I'm sitting on the social media platforms. I think in 70% of the situation that I'm going to use the social media platforms. Contrary to the belief that the use of social networks does not cause a special emotion, this neurostudy has shown that behind each of our scrolls or likes, there's an extreme feeling of happiness, euphoria. The brainwaves of the respondents showed exhilaration and excitement, great commitment to the content, with a little brain fatigue. The so-called perfect storm that we are often aware of or do not want to admit to ourselves. Sadržaj utiče drugačije na mene u zavisnosti od od raspoloženja. I ako posećujem društvene mreže iz dosade, onda mi to i nije neki doživljaj. When the brain is as enchanted as it is on social networks, then conditionally speaking, anyone who interrupts it and distracts it from this favorite content will be punished. That's why a negative emotion to a phone call or an inappropriate ad is no surprise. So whenever the limbic system receives the ping from the mobile phone for a new notification, immediately wants to, to take this pleasure, this reward. In order to maintain the level of happiness hormone that's created, we'll want to stay where we feel good for as long as possible. And that's how addiction is created. I can say that for our generation, that I'm a victim. I think that I'm a victim of social media. We have to educate, we have to train, especially younger generations, of how to use social media in the right way. We need to create a new habit of using networks. Let's use them more responsibly. Kao lideri ćemo biti u mogućnosti da verovatno više nego ranije znamo šta je to što naše oglašivače, to jest korisnike proizvoda ili usluga naših oglašivača pokreće i shodno tome ćemo biti u mogućnosti da napravimo mnogo kvalitetnije strategije. So indeed, indeed it's a revolution.